Welcome to the Friday, June 8, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, we discuss what effect 4th of July ground beef demand has on the markets. And later, fresh and frozen U.S. tilapia filet imports see another historical month of March. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Managing production and marketing with an eye toward turning a profit is one topic on the minds of producers attending the World Pork Expo. It runs through Friday at the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines. Hog markets this year are unfolding entirely differently than last year when solid export buying from South Korea and China boosted prices to lofty levels. This year's spring hog price rally that's normally linked to Easter ham buying largely failed to materialize. Despite an early spring across much of the country, grilling season was slow to spark to life. And over the 10 weeks from March into mid-May, hog futures eroded 13 percent. The USDA's March Hogs and Pigs report pegged our March first breeding herd inventory at 5.82 million head, up 1 percent from a year ago. March to May farrowing intentions were down 1 percent, and June through August farrowing plans were down 2 percent. According to Gary S.A., an Illinois pork producer, he believes producers will continue to hold the line on expansion, especially given spring price performance. S.A. said, I don't think the recent rally will cause producers to rethink plans. Most producers tend to think longer term. For more updates on the World Pork Expo and for other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now, Erner Berry Red Meat Marker reporter A.J. Munger talks 4th of July ground beef demand and the development of a new trend in the market. The conventional wisdom for ground beef through the spring and summer months is that Memorial Day is typically seen as a steak holiday, while July 4th cookouts generally feature hamburgers and hot dogs. Independence Day gatherings tend to be a bit larger, and hot dogs and hamburgers cost a great deal less and are much more convenient to cook than steaks. Due to this seasonal demand pattern, we would expect ground beef prices to build into the 4th of July delivery time frame and then subside after the holiday. The chart shows that this was in in fact, the case for coarse grinds prior to 2004. Since 2004, however, the pattern has changed significantly and prices for ground beef have fallen after Memorial Day every year except for 2008 and 2009. It's also worth mentioning that 2008 was a contra-seasonal year and 2009 was a bear market year in the fed cattle market. Additionally, from 1995 to 2005, coarse grind prices increased every year between Memorial Day and July 4th. There have been a number of suggestions given for why this might be, but so far little consensus. One reason given is that carcass weights have increased, generating additional bench trim and larger subprimals for grinding when production is increased in May and July. One other reason suggested is the percentage of ground beef purchases done on formula has increased. While theoretically this should not affect equilibrium prices, it could potentially have an effect on historical price patterns. For more information on holiday and other market trends in the red meat markets, check out Erner Berry's market research reports by visiting the red meat tab under Contel. Thanks, AJ. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsang offers a glimpse into the fresh and frozen U.S. tilapia filet import market during the key month of March. The month of March has historically been significant time for U.S. imports of fresh and frozen tilapia fillets, and according to 2012 data, the trend has continued. Total imports of fresh fillets, which continue to be adjusted to an estimate calculated in-house given the continued alleged error from official data, increased almost 20% in March 2012 when compared to the previous month, and 10.4% from the same month a year ago. The figures come as no surprise when considering that March has been historically the month with the largest amount of volume imported throughout the year. Contrary to fresh fillets, imports of frozen fillets historically hit rock bottom during March, and again 2012 appears to be no exception, as imports dipped 50% from the previous month, but managed to advance 20% when compared to the same month a year ago. On a year-to-date basis, imports of frozen fillets continue well above those seen in 2011 by more than 12 million pounds. As for the markets, prices for frozen fillets have dropped steadily since reaching their peak in late November. Existing ample inventories continue to put pressure on spot market trades as many product holders lower their asking prices. 
Average monthly prices reached their lowest level in May 2012 at $2.03 a pound since September 2010, when quotations were trending upward at $1.97 a pound. For more information on the tilapia and other aquaculture markets, check out our May 2012 edition of the Aquaculture Insiders Report, now available by clicking Import Export under the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.